Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My dear students of Honor Expert One, how are you doing? Today, I will uh, first discuss about about Robert Frost. That is about the life of Robert Robert Frost and uh, some about some of his works. And later, I will talk about home burial. A poem in your syllabus and let me uh, begin with the biography of Robert Frost. Robert Frost was born in 1874 in San Francisco, United States of America. His family was from New England. He was graduated from Lawrence High School in 1892 and in 18 94 that is at, at the at the age of 18 new york independent accepted his poem named my butterfly by accepted this poem they they launched the uh, back backdrop to en entitle him or to confirm to confer on him the title a professional poet and he received a check for $15 for the poem My Butterfly and through this he was officially recognized as a poet at the age of 18 and Robert Frost won four Pulitzer prizes for literature and uh, and it is worth mentioning that uh, he spent three years in UK. He went to UK in 1912 and returned back to USA in 1915. And and he is the most celebrated poet of America. And in October 1963, President John F. Kennedy delivered a speech on Robert Frost and showed glowing tribute to him and dear students uh, Robert Frost stands at the crossroads of 19th century American poetry and modernism that is he represents the 19th century American poetry and the modern poetry as well and and let me now cite some of Robert Frost's major works and I have to make it clear that his works were in the form of volume of poems and the volume the volume of poems uh, entitled have have different entitlement and let me uh, mention some of the uh, entitlements that is volume of poems entitlement and in 1913 the volume of poems entitled a boy's will was published in 1914 north of boston was published in 1916 mountain interval was published in 1923 new hampshire was published in 1928 West Turning Group was published. In 1936, A Further Reigns was published. In, in 1942, A Witness Tree was published. And in 1962, In the Clearing was published. And let me now tell some of the salient characteristics of Robert Frost as a poet. And if you look closely at Robert Frost, you will find tenderness, you will find sadness, you will find humor and these are sometimes adul adulterated with vanity. Robert Frost accepted things sorrowfully without exaggerating them or explaining them away and you will find seriousness and honesty in Robert Frost. In many of Robert Frost's poems, we will find real people with their real speech and real thought and real 
emotionally. And, and dear student, we will find in Robert Frost uh, sub, subtle, subtlety and exactness and a classical understatement and restraint. And now, my dear student, I will go through some of the lines of the poem, Home Burial, and later I will discuss the poem, Home Burial, Robert Frost. He saw from, from the bottom of the stairs, before she saw him, she was starting down, looking back over her shoulder at some fear. She took a doubtful step and then undid it to raise herself and look again. He spoke, advancing toward her. What is it you see from up there always? For I want to know. And let me now escape some of the line and move move forward further and read from, from the line. So small the window frames the whole of it not so much larger than a bed bedroom is it there are three stones of slate and one of marble broad shouldered little slabs there in the sunlight on the side hill we haven't to mind those and let me now uh, omit some of the lines and go on to further and read uh, read uh, from uh, though i don't like such things Twixt those that love, two that don't love, can't live together without them, but two that do can't live with, uh, together with them. And now let me omit some of the lines and, uh, and move on to further and read, read from, from, from here. You can't because you don't know how to speak. If you had any feelings, you that dug with your own hand, how could you? His little grave. And now, let me uh, read the last few lines. If you do, she was opening the door wider. Where do you mean to go? First tell me that. I will follow and bring you back by force. I, I will. And now, I will discuss on this poem. And let me give a synopsis of the poem. The poem presents a few moments of charged dialogue in a problematic relationship between a rural husband and his wife who have lost a child. The woman is mentally disturbed after catching sight of the child's grave through the window and more so when her husband doesn't immediately recognize the cause of her distress and sadness. She tries to leave the house but her husband requests her to stay for once and share her grief with him to give him a chance. He doesn't understand what it is he does that hurts her or why she should grieve outwardly for so long a time. She resents him deeply for his composer what she, she sees as his hard-heartedness. She, she expresses some of her anger and frustration and he receives it, but the distance between them remains. And, and ultimately we see that the wife opens the door to leave the house as he calls after her and he asserts that he will stop her from leaving the house and uh, let me uh, now uh, speak about the form of the poem this is a dramatic lyric dramatic in that like traditional drama it presents a continuous scene and employs primarily dialogue rather than narrative or description it is dramatic too in its subject matter dramatic in the sense of emotional or tense and now let me shed 
some light that is now let me shed some critical light upon the poem that is let me now discuss the poem critically home burial is one of robert frost most overtly sad poems there are at least two tragedies in this poem the one the first tragedy is the death of a child and the second tragedy is the collapse of a marriage and and the death of the child happens before the poem and the and the, we can we can foreshadow that is the poem foreshadows the collapse of the marriage home burial is about grief or sadness and about grieving but most of all it seems to be about the breakdown and the limits of communication the husband and the wife represent two very different ways of grieving or displaying their sadness after the death of their uh, beloved child the wife wife's grief infuses every part of her and doesn't wane with time the wife the wife fails to accept the death of her son all the time she is occupied with the thought of her uh, dead son and she can never uh, bring her out of that thought she is always obsessed with the thought of her son's death but the husband on the other hand has accepted the death and he did grieve but uh, the outward indication of his grief were quite different from those of his wife he threw himself into the horrible task of digging the child's grave and later he also uh, sinks himself into the physical activity he continues doing his day to day activities and because of his in in indulgement in day to day activities his wife uh, misunderstood misunderstood him and his wife thinks that he is callous and indifferent uh, to the very cause of their son's death it is what mentioning here that the poem home burial intends to portray a failure of empathy and communication between husband and wife is person person fails to appreciate shares the others grie grieving process fails to credit it allows it and have patience with it and each fails to alter even slightly from his or her own form of grief in order to accommodate the other and dear student in this poem we really see the the husband's inability to read between the lines his failure to apprehend understand the emotion underlying the literal meaning of the wife's words and even the wife fails to grasp the meaning of her husband's words she reacted to her to her child's death by by withdrawal or by immersion in in uh, everyday tasks uh, you my dear student as reader witness wi witness the breakdown of a marriage and this breakdown of marriage is partially due to in due to the inescapable limits of any communication between the two and partly because of embedded loneliness in the uh, nature of the husband and in the nature of the of the wife and and you see uh, from the poem that when there is lack of communication between the husband and wife the family ties uh, does not exist and the family uh, ties break and the relationship breaks and it is important to have communication and it is very important uh, to to sit together and discuss about the problem of the family and i hope that uh, you you have understood what i have sort said so far and with this few word i would like to uh, end my discussion for today thank you very much my dear students